Happy Monday everyone! What's up? I wanted to give a update, a YouTube update. This, I guess, is my 31st video I counted because I wasn't sure how many I was at. For those of you that were following since the beginning, when I started a couple months ago, I made this challenge for myself. I was going to do 100 videos and blog posts. And for the most part, I've stuck to that. I had to go down to once a week because I just realized it Making a video and editing and posting and all that takes a lot more time than um, one might expect. So with that, I was just like wanting to give an update about what I've learned so far. Let's talk about expectations. <laughs> so in the beginning, I expected like, I was like, no one's going to watch these videos. But for the most part, like I've heard from some of you that I've never met before. And to me, that's just astounding that like you can connect with someone on the other side of the country or the world even and like have a commonality that you sh that you share but it's just like that that's so crazy to me and I've had like my faithful friends that like were like yeah you, you're doing this channel it's awesome like we're gonna watch it with you and so like I appreciate that but more than anything um, I guess I expected like no one to watch them so even if I have like five views I'm so excited <laughs> Little, and like for those of you that don't know me, I actually have a teaching degree. I got a teaching degree in German and English education and so that's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, I have I have done a bit of teaching and instructor work in the past, but I had kiddos and that kind of took the front seat for a while. So now I'm getting back into um, my German translating work, work has picked up. I'm looking at another job opportunity, possibly in the near future. And so I really like, like just to be honest with you guys, I'm really weighing like, okay, do I stick with this 100 challenge? Like I want, I want to start, or I want to finish what I've started. And like my husband and I had this discussion, like I have in the past left things unfinished once I start them. And I'm not sure why that is. Like I've had to do a lot of thinking about it in the last week or so. And it kind of left me in a really kind of rough spot. Just like, man, why do I do that to myself? Why do I not finish what I've sought out to start. The only thing I can think of, <laughs> any job that I've like resigned from or or just kind of gotten sick of, like I think it's because I get bored. And so I'm not sure where that need for stimulation comes from either. But I've decided that in, in any capacity, I'm going to finish this YouTube challenge because it's important to me. And for those of you that have started watching these videos, I can tell that it's important to you. And I don't want to let any, like, you down or me down. And I know that I can continue to learn about how to, how to make a YouTube channel better. I just, um, I think I've gotten a little bit complacent. All, just being real. Like, there's been some weeks where I'm like, y'all, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> and so that's felt a little forced to, like, have to think of something. Um, but along the way, friends have given me some really good ideas and like that's just, that's been valuable. So as my kids start school and I pick up more professionally because I do plan to work more, especially like I'd like to do remote work out of my home. Yeah, so I just wanted to let you know that like there's probably going to be a couple weeks I miss here and there. But as far as my 100 videos, I am committed to this. I'm committed to you, committed to this channel until I can <laughs> um, safely decide that this is not something I want to do anymore. But for now... I'm so excited to still do it. A little bit more uh, information than you probably need to know, but I've also been teaching myself how to code. Um, what? <laughs> like, this has been something that I never thought I would do. Like, literally ever. Um, I've always put limits on myself saying, I'm not a math person. Like, I'm not into logic. I'm not into anything like that. I sucked at math. I sucked at math problems in school. Um, but to be fair, I look back and I never really had a good teacher or someone that could impassion me toward the ideas of math. I just, I kind of dismissed it and thought, well, I'll just get my C and be done. So I always really prided myself on being like a languages person. I love, like I said, I know German. I love German. I love the history behind languages. I like how languages have morphed, how language is always fluid and changing. Like that fascinates me. So my husband, like, I, I, I don't know if I've said it before, but he's a, a software engineer. He's a programmer, and he works out of our home. He's an awesome job. When he talks about it, it's really, like, it's kind of a beautiful thing. I don't know if he would appreciate me calling it that, but when, when I see him talk about it, he gets so, like, impassioned. You can just tell he loves what he does, and that, um, that inspires me. 
I one day kind of asked him, like, do you think programming could be for me? Like, if I looked at it from a languages perspective? And he was like, absolutely. Like, you should totally try it. So it's because of him and just, I'm just sick of putting myself in a box and I'm wanting to try new things that I'm like, heck yeah, I'm gonna teach myself how to code. So I went on Code Academy and it's a free website you can totally learn and check out. And um, it's been really cool. <laughs> like, uh, and again, maybe this is just because of my new perspective in life about how growth mindset is the ultimate the ultimate goal, like you never want to stop learning or changing or, um, or putting limits on what you're on on what you yourself can do because I just like I keep going back to that thing like God made us for so much more than what we than what we can expect or um, place limits on. Is so it Philippians four thirteen says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I'm like sitting in front of a coding problem, going I don't know what this is talking about, but I can do it, and so I. I've just had a better mindset to work through challenges and problems, and now that I'm learning how to do coding, um, I'm realizing like I can do that too. Just wanted to share a little bit about that with you guys, and like encourage you if you have extra free time. The world, the world of software is is just you know exploding, and you can make really good money doing it. If you have some extra time, check out Code Academy. Totally free website. Like I said, you could upgrade to a pro version that has a lot more bells and whistles, but. For now, the free one's been awesome for me, and I know that there's plenty of other resources out there when I'm done with this for me to continue learning and maybe even get a job one day in it. I have no idea what the what the future holds, but like I said, I'm not going to put limits on it anymore. On that note, go get messy, have fun, learn, and I will see you again next time.